Uh, so now let us move to the next section. Now listen, students. DBMS as a subject, of uh, as a theoretical subject. Most of the theoretical concepts are clear, I mean, covered in first two chapters. So if you study first two chapters, actually you will be able to score minimum 60%, 60 or 70% of the score here. So remaining part, you uh, may think that it is useless. It is not like that. Uh, remaining chapters will help you in practical understanding or the concepts, but basically most of the questions, exam related questions will come from first two chapters. So as I told you, uh, as I'm covering, I'm just telling you about the probable questions here. So which all questions uh, can be asked right from beginning. Uh, they, there are some two marks question based on the definition of database, definition of DBMS. Then uh, sometimes they will ask you, what is a database also? Then uh, important five marks question is characteristics of database. Then end users. In end users, again, individual questions for actors on the scene and workers behind the scene. Uh, so these could be five, five marks question. And sometimes even end users is specifically asked for five marks. Again, for two marks, again, same questions may be asked for who are DBA. So what is DBA? Database administrator. Sometimes they will even ask you uh, who are parametric or nav users. So this may be for two marks. Then for five marks, next five marks question is advantages. So remember, characteristics are different and advantages of different advantages are different. Although some of the content may be repeated in both, but you have to answer specifically. So let us move to the next section. Again, important exam point of view, advantages of using the database approach. Fine. So first is controlling redundancy in data storage and in development and maintenance efforts. What do you mean by redundancy? Uh, redundancy here means the repetition of the data. So whenever you use database or relational database approach, this repetition of the data is controlled. How it is controlled? Uh, I can give you a simple example, but it is not exactly the same how technically we implement a controlled redundancy. Uh, to make you understand, I will just explain it once again later, but right now I will just give you a simple uh, real life example. Like uh, suppose if four B class is there and uh, which all teachers teach for four B? Who are uh, the faculties who are teaching the various subjects? I'm taking DBMS and for advanced Java, new faculty is there, but right now uh, I myself is teaching. Then who is teaching you, Da? Prakash, sir. Prakash. Is he the allotted faculty or uh, someone else? We don't know anything about that yet. Achha, achha. The timetable is not disclosed to you, maybe. Okay. Uh, for English, Amruta, madam. Okay. Why I'm taking this example is uh, Prashant, sir, will prepare some attendance sheet and give it to us. Now, when the copies are given to us, or suppose, Imagine a uh, uh, unrealistic situation that we teachers are told to maintain or create our own attendance sheet. So what we will do when we will start the class, we might note down everybody's uh, roll number and name, and then I may write in my attendance sheet. Similarly, Asmita Madam or other teachers will do. Then as in when sometimes what happens is some students drop or some students uh, take new admission or take transfer from one college to another. So that time what happens? Um, attendance sheets have to be updated. So uh, suppose some student, I see some students in my class and then I may ask that student, okay, uh, who are you? So you have started coming from today. 
taken admission. Okay. So suppose I may write his name, uh, his or her name, and write roll number as per uh, my sequence, the next roll number. I will not consult anybody. I will write mine. So similarly, Asmita Madam will write uh, that student's roll number as per her choice or her own sequence. So if we do like that, uh, now then what will happen? Whenever there is some consolidation has to be made about that student, what is uh, that student's attendance in all the subjects, then that student's roll number will appear to be different, different in every uh, different attendance sheet. Of course, you may think, how can this be possible? It is not uh, practically possible, but I'm just giving you some example. So what will happen then? Uh, the data is not uniform. There will be inconsistency in the data. Why this inconsistency is there? Because the data is repeatedly stored at different locations and it is updated separately. That's why uh, there will be change. Or another, okay, what is the solution for this to avoid such problem? Can anybody suggest a solution for this? If I want to just avoid this mess and uniformity of the data has to be maintained. Did you understand the example? Yes, Akash. I'm just asking you a very simple question. Blasia is there. Am I audible? Sometimes when you don't answer, I uh, feel doubtful about my own uh, voice, whether I am audible to you or no. Yes, Shweta. I'm not create a separate table. What separate table? For attendance, who will create? Um, okay, simple solution is instead of we updating the attendance sheet on our own, we may tell that student to fetch the roll number or ask inform Prashant sir or take the roll number from Prashant sir. We will not write our own roll numbers there. So attendance sheet might get updated at a central location and then the same sheet might be shared with us. That means normally in case of uh, uh, physically or manual maintenance of the attendance, uh, this may be little... Uh, what you can say, confusing to understand. But suppose imagine your attendance is updated online. Online in the sense what? Okay, let me just help uh, explain you with the help of annotations. Suppose uh, there is a system made or there is some, some software is made in such a way that uh, whenever... Okay, if the software is made in such a way that whenever classes are conducted, uh, I just uh, display some kind of interface to you or some screen wherein you just have to put your roll numbers there or you just have to check in front of the roll numbers. So only those students who have logged in, they will be checking or putting a tick mark in front of their roll numbers. And then automatically that attendance will go and get updated at a central location. So if some software arrangement is made such a way that uh, there is some attendance sheet for 4B for all the subjects, it is prepared like this. Okay, I'm just roughly drawing it here. So students attendance for various subjects. So roll number and name is written in the first column and then under different subjects for that particular date, and there will be a tick mark in front of the classes. 
so that students automatically when he will log in whichever subject it may be now now you are attending dbms so automatically the same sheet will be accessed by the students and in front of dbms you will be putting a tick mark like this okay so you may put a tick mark like this in front of those students now again when you log in uh, next class suppose if it is uh, da then for the da class when you log in again when you put the attendance it will be so what is happening this attendance sheet is commonly shared between all the subjects okay it is the same attendance sheet which will be shared in it is actually stored suppose in the college system and whenever you are accessing it through internet uh the same file is getting updated so then what will happen whichever class suppose whether asmita madam or whether myself or prakash sir whenever we access the same data or same attendance sheet we will get the same data that is roll number which is prepared by prashant sir the roll number and name column will be prepared by prashant sir and the attendance whichever you people have ticked so we all will get the same sheet so whenever the data is stored uh, centrally centrally means what without repeated that means no separate attendance sheet is stored with me or with amruta madam or with prakash sir etc there is a common attendance sheet which is stored at one central location so this is called a central storage and redundancy redundancy is opposite of it that means everybody is storing their own copy it is something like this suppose uh, this is my copy this is asmita madam's copy and this is uh, or maybe prakash sir's copy and amrita madam's copy then what will happen some of the updations roll numbers and all if separately if prashant sir has to do that because redundancy is there however accurate prashant sir might be uh but still because to err is a human being if different different copies are maintained and if prashant sir had to update that separately then what might happen sometimes it may happen uh by mistake he may skip one of the roll number he may enter it here but he may forget to add it in the next or suppose by mistake here the name is written in upper case and here it is written in lower case you may think what difference does it make but for computer it makes a difference you will realize it when you will start working with this dbms practicals okay you will face the same issue if you are trying to fetch uh, or access the uh, name of shweta here and if you type upper case s and uh, while entering if you have entered small case s then your database will reply no records found shweta does not exist something like that so since computer is case sensitive or your data which is stored in the database is case sensitive then prashant sir has to be very very alert in keeping the same uh, name in all the copies or sometimes if he enters shweta k here and in other sheet he enters shweta kallan or full name so even that will make difference it will consider shweta as different shweta k as different and shweta kallan or as different clear so this is how when we store the same data at multiple location this is called as redundancy and because of the redundancy then what will happen uh, inconsistency and inaccuracy of the data will creep in so this problem is solved in database because in database repetition is avoided okay data is always centrally stored Uh, and hence it is called as controlled redundancy you may wonder then why it is not written as no redundancy why it is written as controlled redundancy why that i will explain with example some other time fine uh, by taking actual example of database uh, i will ex try to explain it okay so first right now just understand uh, first advantage is controlled redundancy because database storage uh implements controlled redundancy and that's why okay what are the disadvantages of redundant data what are the problem faced by redundancy first is effort is wasted because 100 times if there are 100 places then 100 uh, co copies then 100 times you will have to perform the same updation so effort is wasted space memory space is wasted fine 
time is wasted so this wastage in time memory space and efforts can be saved by controlling the redundancy clear next advantage is sharing of data among multiple people so same data because the provision is there that the data can be shared at one or uh, stored at one place but it can be shared among multiple users that means uh, because of database approach as i explained you same attendance sheet which is stored at one place that can be viewed by different users in different way so same data can be shared among multiple users so this is similar to the characteristic here there it is support of multiple views of the data and here the advantage is talk uh, advantage talks about sharing of the data among multiple users so it is similar next advantage is restricting unauthorized access to the data uh, because your usernames and passwords are fixed an administrator will have uh, already uh, programmed your application in such a way that only these users are allowed no other additional user will be allowed so when you restrict like that no unauthorized users will be able to access the data uh, then providing persistent storage for program objects uh okay forget about that what is written in the bracket what do you mean by persistent storage for program objects uh for database management system there is a specialized version or edition called as object oriented database management system which is called as oodbms fine uh, so in oodbms you know the software like java which talks everything um in the or you can say which actually stores everything in the form of objects and classes so when such objects have to be stored or such data in the form of object has to be stored in a database there are specialized databases which will provide uh, specialized storage structures and these are called as oodbms so this is one more advantage next providing storage structure for efficient query processing so your databases uh, whenever any question is asked to the database even though the data is huge huge in the sense not only in gbs it will go uh, beyond that so when the when there is a huge amount of data the searching will be slow isn't it but then your dbms will provide such storage structures which will optimize optimize in the sense which will accelerate your query processing this is one more advantage clear with that now uh, individually each of this is uh, explained how controlled redundancy is uh, acquired or implemented okay so we'll try to explain it in the next class now i think this much is sufficient and we'll stop any doubt so far now that control redundancy with the actual example i'll explain uh, in the next class all of you enter your attendance okay for advanced java class when uh, what time do you prefer at 1 or at 4 shall we have immediately after this at 1 or we'll have yes, it at 4 o'clock in 4 o'clock okay so you just let me know i have asked even sai prakash accordingly i will just inform you either at 1 or 4 mam are you going to be taking combined class oh uh, actually i have to adjust the timetable for separate classes 
so today i will take combined and i will see in the timetable how to adjust for different division fine still i have not made that adjustment so i'll take a um, combined class and i'll upload the video okay ma'am so what time do you want 1 o'clock 1 o'clock yes ma'am after this i will let me majority vote if i orally ask it may not be possible